Today I will be showing some advanced redstone traps that are almost guaranteed to kill anyone in Minecraft. So my friend here is going to walk down this hallway. I'm going to place this redstone torch. The floor is going to open. And now they're going to walk back. They're going to run back because they're scared of the lava. And then they're just going to fall into the void because they're scared of the lava. Or they're just going to die to the lava. Regardless, they're either going to die to the lava, or they're going to fall down the hole, which is basically inevitable, really. Like, you can't really stop from falling down the hole or dying from lava. The only way is to get to one of the other ends, but other ends are kind of far away. Um... But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to reset this trap, because this got messed up. Darn. Okay. Well, that trap's reset. Okay. So, I'm going to teleport my friend back. And, um, this time, we aren't going to use any of the lava. We're just going to make them fall into the void. Okay. So now... I'm going to remove this redstone torch, and then I'm going to have my friend walk down the hallway, and then my friend's going to jump in the void. And basically, of course, you aren't just going to tell someone to jump into the void. Um, and as well, of course, you can't really get a void this large in survival Minecraft most of the time. It's going to be very annoying to do. So what you would do instead is you would just have a 30 block fall from a stalagmite because a player in full netherite protection 4 will die from a 30 block jump if i were in survival mode jumping off of here onto the stalagmite which is 30 blocks above the stalagmite so these two don't count it starts at this coal block here which goes all the way up to 30 blocks higher to this oak log which you will die from falling from. Now, as well, another trap that you can use if this does not work or if you do not trust this working on someone, even though it's almost like perfect, you can't really, no one's really gonna guess it, I wouldn't say. But if you're really scared about that, then I'll teleport my friend over here. And now that my friend's over here, my friend is going to be in my enchanting setup. They'll be enchanting something real quick. And I'll put down this button right here. Now right here is where there's a redstone signal. My friend's just going to ignore the button. My friend won't notice the button while they're enchanting something. Of course, I'm not going to click the button right now because it would mess up the entire showcase of the trap. But all you got to do is get a dispenser with one arrow inside lava two blocks above it it's very important that it's not one block above it because then it'll, it won't work then you have to have a block that arrows can go through such as scaffolding and place a rail on top of that and place a TNT minecart on top of that then this button comes into play where it activates this redstone signal which goes down to the dispenser which blows up this and this goes in a 4x4 four four, it goes in this entire radius here so if you're in this doorway you're dead if you're um, on top of this as well you're also dead if you're right here you're dead if you're anywhere in this entire enchanting setup inside the bookshelves you're dead so what you can do is you can be in the enchanting setup too, and what you would want to do is you would want to have a stasis chamber, or an ender pearl stasis chamber, which is just a couple block long hole, and you're going to have soul sand at the bottom, you're going to have all the water blocks being um, source blocks, and you're going to have an inverted redstone signal going into the hatch, trap door, and this will keep the trapdoor up, and then as soon as I would click this button, the trapdoor would go down, and my ender pearl would be hit. But instead, we would want this to be hooked up to this. And if this is hooked up to this, like that, 
Then, as soon as I click this button, then I will instantly die. Well, my friend will instantly die. I will be saved by my stasis chamber, which will be kind of far away. And because the arrow takes a couple of milliseconds to go up and hit this, that means that I should have enough time for this redstone signal to go all the way over here, just like this redstone signal goes down here. So, you can make this hallway, and if you have a teammate that you want to kill, and they know about this hallway, then just make the enchanting table trap and don't tell them. And then, this enchanting table trap will go ahead, you'll bring them down the hallway, you'll have the enchanting table, and they won't think of anything because they don't know about the trap, and they don't really expect you to do something like that. And then you go ahead and you hit your teammate, and then... I would suggest not having them on here because I don't know if this has extra blast resistance. So you hit your teammate, you make sure they're off of that, then you click the button and you're safe and they go down into a 30 block hole down to a stalagmite and they don't wake up. Now as well, another thing you could do for trapping is this thing over here. The control room would be very very basic and if you want to make this into an entire area and you want to make sure you know where your friends are in your base so you can click the traps exactly at the right time, then do this, right? So, this is where this will hear my footsteps. This skulk sensor over here will be able to hear my footsteps right up until I'm right here, okay? It'll be able to hear my jumps until I'm here, but it'll be able to hear my footsteps until I'm here. And same thing for this. It'll be able to hear my jumps from right here and my footsteps from right here. So, my friend over here will walk over onto the subsidium, and this is telling me that someone's activating that one. Now, my friend just hit this one, so what I would do is I would have a little trap here. Of course, this trap is just lava on top of this, but of course that's not what anyone else would be doing, really. So as long as my friend is activating this, I know where they are. And I can easily kill them as long as I mark where these are. Or as long as I have a little button or a um, pressure plate or a lever. And I just use any trap that I had in the area. And I see that they're right here. I click on the trap. And they're supposed to die from it. Of course, I won't be using this trap because it's nowhere near them. But if you make this and then you make a trap nearby, you can tell exactly where they are. Just make sure that this is seven blocks away from where you want it to be. Because it can hear jumps eight blocks away and footsteps seven blocks away. And make sure that none of these over align. Because then you'll have traps that seem to be in the same area and they could be over at the other end. And of course, see, she's jumping right now. And then that activates both of these, which is very, very unfortunate. It's bad. Because her doing, her doing that will cause an issue in the fact that both of these lamps are going on. So as long as they aren't jumping, you shouldn't have an issue. And what you can do is you can have, like, a line of these. Like, you could have a hallway. And you could just connect these to the same lamp. If that's what you want to do and just have all those traps set up in that one hallway, which is what I suggest. Just like my hallway over here. And as well this, if you want to put this outside of your base, in case anyone wants to come and try and kill you. What you can do here is you'll see there's a lot of arrows in here. You'll see there's a lever right here going into an inverter, which goes into a redstone, well, a repeater and this goes straight into here so when i click this lever this turns off and then this will activate sending constant signals into here shooting arrows and then two blocks in front of it there's a lava there's a lava source block and this lava happens when i put this here right so if i don't have this lava right here because so I could have this lava right here, or I could not. You have to flick the lever twice to activate the lava. 
Well, you have to flick it one time and then one time to turn it off. But, like, if I want to kill someone right now, I'll have my, my friend right here. I'll have them stand right here, right here. So I'll have them stand right there. Okay. And they'll just be my test dummy for this. So I activate this. And we see them getting hit by the arrows. And as long as they stay in the straight line, they'll get hit. Right? So it stops right about here. Right? So sometimes it stops a little bit before this. Sometimes it stops a little bit after. But what we'll do is we'll have this red sand right here. Red sandstone. And now that we know which block it ends on, typically, we can see this right here. So... One, two, three, four, five, six. It goes out six blocks, typically, which means that as long as you have this, you can kill anyone in a six blocks radius, or you can hit them, it doesn't really matter. So as well, what you could do for this hallway is you could have, like, a piston bringing down um, one of the blocks on the wall, and then you could have... Uh, Dispenser shooting arrows at them to, um, like, uh, um, you would have dispenser shooting arrows at them so that they will be pushed onto the other side, but it's really your choice. Um, and of course, what you could also do is you could have a repeater over here, which I kind of gave up on this, um, because I actually intended for this to use lava. I accidentally made it use arrows. But if you want it to use arrows, of course this signal I messed up and it's not going far enough. Um, but if you want them to be rained down arrows from above, it doesn't really matter. This will stick them into place more often, I guess. Um, but what you can do is you can have them be shot with arrows to push them off the side. Like, if I get a bow and arrow and I bring my friend up here, like if I bring them right up here... Oh, shoot. That was an accident. Darn it. They'll respawn, and they'll be right here. And then I'll go ahead and I'll get a bow. And then I'll get an arrow. And then say that they try and go across, right? So they're gonna run. And they'll get shot one time with an arrow, and they'll fall. This is what we want. So you could have one side where it opens up, and this, um, and then you could have arrows shooting down on them. The only issue with this is if they have an elytra or if they jump. And then the only issue with this hallway is if they have ender pearls, it won't be nigh as scary, because they can just they can just throw an ender pearl and be at the under other end of the hallway. Which is why what you could do is when you flick that lever, you also have a piston that pushes this block up so that they can't um, go right there but of course it's, it's really up to you you can't and then also what you could do is you could have a piston that pushes this block down I guess um, and you can just hide those blocks from your friends and then they won't be able to go through all the way and of course you can have this side of the hallway cut off because you could have rooms in this hallway which is, could also be the control room for the traps and this is just a way to kill almost anyone as long as they aren't suspicious of what you're doing you can have traps activated by the skulk sensors immediately or activated by you manually or you could have an arrow dispenser which shoots flaming arrows at them to kill them of course this would be more compact if you didn't have to worry about um shooting that right like that um or if you have multiple of these it'll be um more effective and then of course the 30 blocks to lag might fall instantly kills a player and brought for netherite and then of course the stasis chamber and the exploding enchantment table this also works with anything right so this is two blocks away this is two blocks away this is two blocks away and this is two blocks away it this activates um this TNT minecart will go two blocks in every direction and also um, two blocks like this and then as well it will go like this I believe where you'll be able to kill them 
in this area. Actually, I'm not too sure. It might it might be like this. Um, but you typically won't have them there, especially if you're using the enchanting setup. So, um, this is a trap where you can use any block for it, really. I used obsidian because, I mean, like, it looks cool, and also people can't mine out of it really easily. It's not really a worry if they mine out, because, of course, to mine out, they'd have to go down to here, or go over to one of the doors or mine over here which is like a pretty risky jump if you miss um but what you want to do is you want because there's redstone above this you don't want to use normal blocks you want to use stairs to make it less suspicious and you can have a 30 blocks to lag might fall or you can do the void it doesn't really matter and the redstone right here it's just this goes into a inverter which activates the pistons automatically, and then once you place this down, it turns them off. Same with over here, and same with up here. And then, for the air, for the lava, all you have to do is a button, which goes into this, and that, that extends the signal all the way to the end. And then all you want to do is just this. But also, you could encounter an issue where this signal extender doesn't go all the way for your hallway, you'll have to make another signal extender for that. But this entirely works, and as long as you're willing to make this, which will take a while, of course you need a lot of sticky pistons. You need three sticky pistons for every single block that you make your hallway, so it could be a very, very expensive build. But, of course, you don't have to use the hallway, you can just have your friend try enchanting and you can kill them. And, of course, it's also kind of expensive because you have to get all these you have to get an entire lava bucket for every single one, and there's a lot of redstone that goes into this, like, it's an entire repeat- it's three repeaters for every single block, and it, it gets expensive really, really fast, and it's four redstone for every block and stuff. So, you'll- be exhausting a lot of resources to make this, but it's very easy to kill anyone. It's very inconspicuous. If you have the entire tunnel made out of one block, which of course I don't because I forgot obsidian could not be pulled by pistons. If you have it all made of one block, it's a lot less, um, people won't notice as easily that, like, it's scary to them. And what you can do here is, of course, this takes from the floor. So, as long as you have your doorway going out like this, what you can do is, of course, this will be on the floor, but, um, what you can do is you can just have stairs or something to make it, of course, less, like, obvious that you're trying to kill them. Um, and then this right here is the result. This is what the hole looks like when you try and kill someone with this. Of course, I have this lava right here, which, of course, stays there when you when you use this method, because it's kind of unfortunate. It's kind of unfortunate. But if you look at this hole, this is the hole. This is where you would see the TNT minecart. This is a couple of blocks under the TNT minecart. And you'll just see here, this goes out two blocks. This goes out three, but it's kind of unreliable. This goes out two blocks, and this goes out three blocks, which is still unreliable. So what I would say that you should do is you should only ever put it out two blocks, because three is always unreliable. Because it only does it like once, twice, maybe three times in the entire trap, and then you can put them in the wrong corner of it, and then you can just mess up entirely, and they'll, they, they'll know you're trying to kill them. So what you want to do is you just want to hit them before this, especially if you're playing on something like Lifesteal, so that you actually register as the killer, like they swam in lava trying to escape Gomi, or they fell on a stalagmite trying to escape Gomi. Something like that would, of course, m like, you, you want to register the kill as yours most of the time, but of course you don't have to register it as yours. Because if you're trying to make it seem as if you aren't the person who did it, which of course the person can tell other people, so I'm not too sure why. But if you want to make it seem like you weren't the one who just killed them, like if you've already got them down to one heart or something, then all you have to do is 
just blow it up without hitting them, and then it should not be registered as yours. And then you can do you can just kill them. And right here, of course, um, just great great hallway, great trap. You can kill almost anyone with it. So these are some of the insane traps that I've made recently, and these are almost guaranteed to kill anyone because as long as you have this person's trust, they won't expect anything, and then you can just easily kill them like this. And they won't stand a chance. They will be dead. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and it is a very, very long video, this is, so... I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed, and if you guys need to pause to look at some of the redstone in this, I'll just have a little view of all this redstone right here. Um, but if you guys enjoyed the video, have a nice day, and use these traps on some of your friends, and they will probably get very angry at this because... They probably worked hard for their gear, and, and you just took it all away very, very easily. So, this is all the redstone, and goodbye.